Hey, hey, hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, Carolina Panthers make uh, two more moves that I wanted to talk about in this video and also give my thoughts on the uh, recent pro day for a Kentucky quarterback, Will Levis. But before we get started, be sure to check out the link to Game Beauty for an awesome lineup of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products. And if you see something that interests you and you want to make a purchase, be sure to use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to use that promo code. Okay, let's talk about the recent moves for the Carolina Panthers. They have added another veteran wide receiver to the receiving corps in the form of DJ Chark, former Detroit Lions and Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver. They have signed, they're signing him to a one-year deal. And I know one of their goals was to sign both Adam Thielen and DJ Chark. Well, mission accomplished. But yes, uh, one year deal. And you know what? He's a big target. It's a very big target. DJ Chark, 26 years old, six foot four, 205 pounds. Um, like I said, played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, for four seasons before moving to the Detroit Lions for one season. Uh, his best his best season was his second year with the Jaguars, where he had 73 catches for 1,008 yards and eight touchdowns. Um, and, you know, he did a little something-something uh, for the Detroit Lions last season, 30 catches, uh, 502 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, definitely very talented receiver. Very talented receiver that I do believe will help out the Panthers wide receivers and just overall offense. Um, the only thing is he has dealt with some injury woes. Um, he only played 54 games in the last five seasons. But, as I said, he was pretty productive last season with the Lions. Um, and even when the Panthers played the Lions last season, even though we won the game, he had four catches for 108 yards. So he did do a little bit of something-something. So, and then even in 2019... Even though, uh, even though they lost to, to Carolina, I mean, DJ Chark had eight catches, 164 yards, and two touchdowns. So, I mean, he's put up some numbers against the Carolina Panthers. So, keep that in mind. But, but like I said... It's another big target. It's another big target. So, I mean, I think this is definitely going to spread the ball for the wide receivers. Because, I mean, you got to look at who we have now. We got Adam Thielen. We now have DJ Chark. You know, we still got Terrace Marshall Jr., LaVisca Chennault. You know, Shy Smith. I mean, I think that's a solid five that we can work with, with the receiving core. I think that's a solid five. You know? And like I said, they may still add somebody from the draft. They could still do that. I think that's very possible. But I mean, that, and don't forget, we picked up Hayden Hurst as well, you know, you know, receiving tight ends. So, I mean, you know what? I think the passing game 
has an opportunity to hopefully evolve compared to last season. And, you know, Terrace Marshall is a big body. DJ Chark's a big body. Adam Thielen brings a lot of veteran experience to this wide receiver core. So you know what? I like the move. So they got DJ Chark and Adam Thielen. I like these moves. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Um, and like I said, you now you know, just another weapon or so, and let's get our quarterback. Let's get our quarterback. Also, kicker Zane Gonzalez is on the move as the Panthers are trading Zane Gonzalez to the San Francisco 49ers. So we know that they previously signed or signing Eddie Panero to a two-year deal. So they're keeping Eddie Panero. So they are trading Zane Gonzalez to the Niners for a conditional late round 2025 compensation. So that's what they're getting for him. But I mean at least at least they're getting something for him. So at least there's that. But Carolina's rolling with Eddie Panero. So it is what it is. You know, definitely going to miss uh, Zane Gonzalez, but like I said, hasn't been able to stay healthy. But when he plays, great kicker, but can't stay healthy. So, I mean, they had to do what they had to do. We'll miss him, but Eddie Panero, welcome back. And then, want to talk about Will Levis' pro day. You know, just talk a little bit about his pro day. I did get a chance to watch, you know, a good bit of a pro day, check out some highlights. And, I mean, I got to keep it real with you, y'all. Will Levis has a cannon, a big old cannon, of an arm. I mean, he's got some insane arm talent. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I felt like there were some throws, like, to the sideline or whatnot that I'm not sure if, even though those were catches, I'm not sure they would be catches uh, called inbounds. So I think he could probably work on, you know, just better with the the leading on just any routes toward the sidelines, you know, to just better put it in the right spot where the receiver can catch and catch and bounds. But other than that, I mean, the dude has has the arm. And you know what? Will Levis could be a sleeper, y'all. He could actually be a sleeper. Now, of course, we can only take but so much from these pro days. But I mean, the dude has one heck of an arm. And I mean, I feel like he could potentially be one of those guys that could end up evolving into a great quarterback. It just may not happen right now. It may take a couple of years. But my whole thing is I don't know, y'all. It could be one of those where not a lot of eyes are on him. There's not a lot of hope for him. He could end up proving the fans wrong. Now, I don't know where he'll end up going in the NFL, but I don't know, y'all. I know there's a lot of folks that aren't really a fan of Will Levis, but he could be a sleeper. I mean, there's a reason why you got those few out there that are looking at him as potentially the best quarterback in this draft. You know, whether that's true or false, 
There are folks out there saying it. But I mean, the dude has quite an arm. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I feel like there's, you know, working the sidelines, you know, I feel like maybe a weakness for him. But one, but one of the things, or two of the things that he's been consistently praised on, according to the media and such, is his arm. And his athleticism. So, I d I'm not sure really how high of a ceiling Will Levis has, but I don't know, y'all. I think he could be a sleeper. I honestly think he could be a sleeper. I could be wrong. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I mean, he's got he's got a cannon of an arm. That's really the main thing that I that I can emphasize from what I've seen of his pro day. But we'll see what happens. Um, but that's pretty much all that I have. Uh, let me know what y'all's thoughts are. What do you think of? Uh, Carolina trading away Zane Gonzalez to the Niners. What do you think about uh, them picking up DJ Chark? Do you like the signing? Do you hate it? Let me know what you think. And also, uh, what do you think of Will Levis? Did you check out his pro day? What did you like? What did you dislike? Do you think he could be a sleeper? Let me know what your thoughts are, your honest thoughts are on Will Levis. I would love to hear. But... That'll do it for this video. Uh, be sure to check out the link to Game Beauty. And like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell while you're at it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. For another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. See ya.